George Elias Bolos was born to Marie Bolos on January 6, 1989. When I gave birth, my son was the most happiest day of my life. However, the happiness didn't last long. She just told me that he had a temperature and I was taking him up to intensive care. George was diagnosed with meningitis, an inflammation of the protective membranes covering the brain and spinal cord. This caused him severe mental and physical disabilities. He can't walk, he can't see. Maria was only 19 years old when she gave birth to her first son. I think that you have, you have futures ahead and you have this happen to you. It's just, just traumatising. It it's the most horrible time of my life. George is now 23 years old and has lived with his grandparents since he was two months old. Life for the grandparents is now hard, as George has become older. They have to get up often during the night to help George. They feed him, change his nappy, and put him to bed and take him to church. He likes church, he likes songs. So early in the morning, when I get up, when he get up, he comes to the bathroom, I go to wash. I say, okay, let me wash your teeth. He gives up on the sink, of course, with the knees. You know? And I wash his teeth, and I wash him, I wash his hand, I come his hair, and I said to him, you look nice, you know, nice. He loves that. And then I said to him, can I give you some melodies? Can I give you some yeah. perfume? He says, no. So I go next door to my room, and I give him a bit of aftershave or whatever. He says, la, la. That means, yes, thank you, I don't know. And I said to him, off you go, and he goes. So up to that, he loves me, and I love him. He's very cheeky. Very, very cheeky, but, you know, I still love him. He's my brother. But... People by yeah, their legs. Grabs. He gets into why you feel scared or not, so he would yes. and grab you. And... He usually grabs his tablecloth, so you have to take all our food off if we're eating on there. As the grandparents grow older, the parents are getting worried. Because what if something happens to me? What happens if something happens to mine? Who's going to look after him? What happens then? For the last 10 years, the parents have tried unsuccessfully to find a government-funded 24-hour care institution. The problem was the family rejected such a place when he was a baby. There's a whole list, okay, there's a, a whole list of kids who are trying to get in there and obviously they look at the ones that are more. Because George is not in any, in any danger of being neglected. Luckily, they found NATO, an independent institution which picks up George does activities with him, Monday to Friday, 9 to 3, $4 a day. The family also receives an unemployment pension for George. George enjoys the company of the people from NATO. Very happy with the girls, when you hear a girl's voice, he's more happier. And you also know. you have a mix boys and girls in the, uh, in the bus, and also you have uh, two girls there, and each time Judy go to the bus, he say, go, 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 <laughs> and Judy's happy. However, the parents are still trying to find full-time care for him. In the meantime, the grandparents continue to look oh, after him. Oh, oh. We were wish millions of times okay. if, he had a, if he was a normal boy. And also I couldn't give him any, anything I got. So lovely boy. And I give it to us all my heart.